Hi Year 9, so this is your lesson for geography for the week commencing the 8th of June. So like you've been doing with all your other um, geography lessons, you need to get the date and title down and the learning objective and obviously work through this lesson as a worksheet to complete at the end. And again, all this needs to be kept together with all your geography notes and a picture uploaded onto Show My Homework as evidence that you've completed it and there will be a quiz as well okay so our title is managing climate change so i'm going to carry on working through this so first of all i thought we'd link it to the aqa specification like we've done for, for, for um, most of our lessons um, as we can see we're at the very last bit now of this first topic which is managing climate change we're going to look at two ways that we can manage climate change that is by mitigation so reducing the causes of climate change or adaptation, which is how we respond to the changes caused by climate change. And we're going to look for mitigation at some different strategies and for adaptation as well. OK, so first of all, um, underneath your date and title, we'll get down some definitions. So what we mean by mitigation, which is the action of reducing the severity and seriousness of climate change, and then an adaptation, um, then a definition for adaptation to change and suit a new situation rather than reducing climate change. So you need both your definitions down, please. Right, next we're going to look at managing climate change. Um, and this can be on different sort of scales. Okay. So overall, in your work, you need the subtitle managing climate change. And then you can say it can work in different ways and then we can get down these four bullet points. So individual choices, local choices, so local government and council, and then national sort of choices or national policies for government, and then global, so international agreements between many countries. Okay, so there's some notes to get down as well. So then this is on to the next bit, which is your task. So we're going to look at how we can manage climate change. So you're going to have um, a Word document to download from Show My Homework, which has a table um, with four mitigation strategies and three adaptation strategies. So we're going to look at seven in total. And on the other page of the document is some information for each strategy. So I've sort of summarised what each strategy is in the information boxes. So what you've got to do is you've got to match the information to the strategy. So you can either cut out the statements and glue it, help, if you can do that at home, or you can just read through it all and then write them in, or you might want to make your own copy of the table in your, in your notes, whatever works best for you. If you're a bit unsure on any, all of the answers are on, in the textbook. So we're going to attach the two pages that you need out of the textbook for this, and I'm going to attach that as a PDF to help you out. Um, so this sheet needs to be uploaded and to show my homework um, within all your notes for next Monday. And that's when the quiz has got to be done for as well. So the worksheet looks like this. OK, so you've got four mitigation strategies, three adaptation strategies. And then this is the info. So you can see there's the seven sort of different boxes there of information that match the seven um, here. So you've got to decide which one fits for which and either cut them out and glue them in or copy them out entirely up to you. These are the pages from the textbook. I'll upload this as a PDF. And um, like I said, on show my homework to make it easier. But if you're a bit unsure, all the answers are in there. OK. And then finally, there's some challenge questions. So for those of you that need a bit more to do, um, an easy two mark question, which is just your definitions. And then you've got a quote and you've got to look at both mitigation and adaptation and why they are needed. OK. And the next bit, I've got a bit of a mark scheme here and some um, sort of bits you could potentially put in your answer to help give a little bit of inspiration to those of us who, who might be struggling on how to write a peel paragraph or what to put in a conclusion. So I don't mind you using this to help you. OK. Any other questions, anything, upload on to show my homework and I will try and answer for you. Hope everyone is staying safe and hopefully see you all soon.